to the channel, folks. Today is sunroof day. I don't want to do it, but I have to. I got all my cables. I'll go over them with you, everything I needed. I've never done this before, but you'll get to watch and learn with me, or maybe some of you guys have already done this, and you'll be looking and going while he's doing it a long way. I don't know. Please subscribe, like, share, leave some comments. Good or bad, either way, you know, don't matter. We're all in this together, so uh, let's get on it. Okay, so what did I buy? I bought a new rubber seal for around the sunroof uh, shell itself. I bought a seal that goes around, it's uh, the rear tray at the back of the sunroof shell. I don't really know what it's called, but I'll show you. Wolfsburg West cables, they're supposed to be superior, uh, we'll see. These ones, as you can see, has the felt on it instead of just metal. And my buddy Tim told me uh, to, I don't want to say his last name, my buddy Tim from Facebook and the Samba said to use oil on these instead of grease because they have the, they have like felt or whatever it is, you know. But uh, I screwed up and forgot to buy a new handle because I can't remember everything because I'm getting older. I bought a new gear I'm going to put on because the teeth on mine looked a little bit wore. So I am going to do that. And basically that's it. So let's start so, messing around here. You got to get the seal installed on the sunroof. Let me make sure you're in view. Yeah, you're in pretty good view. Okay. I had to contact Tim, my buddy that I brought up, because uh, I got confused. This was all apart when I got the car, so I didn't know. But here's the new seal. This white plastic goes to the outside. And that's what I had to contact him about. And he answered me very quickly. Great guy. Uh, okay, so we're gonna start in the middle here. And this thing fits tight. Very tight. Holy crap. I guess they ain't gonna come off. Okay. I cannot believe how tight this fits on here. And I got it from Wolfspark West. This is for 73 to 75 Super Beetle. I'll try to get it in there. Right there. Now, they have them also for others, obviously. But I, I think they pretty much all to go together the same way. Maybe back in the 60s ones are different, you know, but wow, this definitely fits tight. I love Wolfsburg West. I've never had a complaint about them yet. Hopefully these cables are good because I was told to buy them from Wolfsburg West. They seem to carry really good quality. As you see, it pinches in there. So, and it does fit tight, no doubt about it. Make sure you put a towel down so you don't scratch your sunroof off. Okay, going around the bend. Wow, this thing, very, very nice. Very tight. Holy crap. Okay. Instead of you watching me do this, you're just basically getting it on there. Whoops. There we go. Open. Pushing it on. It's tight, so. But I'm not going to sit there and film me doing this. That's stupid. I'll okay. be right back when it's done. I have got the seal on. Did a boo-boo there, but it's okay. That don't keep water out, I believe. It's just wind. Uh, it's on all the way around. Now, when you do put it on, look and make sure that it's flush. I took a rubber mallet gently and tapped down on it to get it flush all the way down because it does fit really, really tight. 
and then you'll have to trim it there. I snipped it a little short on the pist, but it is what it is. It'll be fine. It ain't going to cause an issue. But make sure you tap so it's down all the way. I hate to keep repeating myself, but you want to tap. See, I found the spot right there. There, see? Now it's down. I'm going to go around mine one more time and check it, though, just to make sure. So, that's that. Okay, here's this rear rail that goes to the back of the sunroof. So you want to do your seal first before you put it on, because you see it goes over top of it. Okay. Seven screws hold it on. There we go. Little Phillips head screws with a little washer. They're them little wavy washers. So. Tighten it after I get them all in. You can see the way the rail goes on just like that and it goes over top of that seal so you want the rail on now we're gonna flip it over okay damn it I'm really bummed about that oh well I'm gonna see it sort of okay so let me see if I can position you better here Now, as you see, it almost looks like a little rain gutter along it. Okay. I don't know if this is supposed to be... Yeah, it's intentional. I can tell the way it's curved perfectly. Now you have a seal that goes over that. So I'll show you that in a minute here. Okay, this rear drip rail or whatever you call it. I bought this seal from Bug City. Where's it at? There we go. And there it is there. They were the only ones that sold it. And it was $23.95. And they charged me $12 shipping. That's ridiculous. But anyhow, <clears throat> they were the only ones that sold this for that rear rail. The rail that I'm showing you here. They're the only ones that sold it. No, everybody else said out of stock and... I guess not to be reordered, who knows, but there's what it looks like, and it's going to go right, I'm going to have to glue it in place, it don't snap on, and it'll run along here, and it seals it when it comes up and closed in the back, so we're going to set that here like that, I'm going to use 3M weather stripping gasket adhesive, I bought the yellow by accident, wasn't paying attention, but got to use it. Okay. Let's see if I can get this on here without making a mess. I doubt it, but I'll try. I'm going to just run it along the edge of it. Keep a rag handy. going to be hard. You want me Let to me try the there. You see I got the glue around here. I'm going to set it in place. Hold it for a second. Yeah, this is a pain. But it is what it is.
Okay, so the seal's on. It is wobbly to work with, so once you get it in place, leave it alone. Okay, because when the sunroof closes, this seals at the back of it. I don't know how important it is. I'm sure many people run without them. It's not sealing out water, I don't believe. I believe it's sealing out noise. But, as you can see, it's a pain in the butt to get on. It's on. I'm going to let that dry real good with that hey, leather strip adhesive. One more thing about this, I turned it upside down and then I put glue, because you're never going to see this. It's up inside the car. You can't see it unless you cut the roof open. I put some adhesive between the rubber and the channel on the other side, just to let it adhere a little bit better. I put some objects at the ends so them corners, you know, stay. I'm going to leave this go for a couple hours and I'll start on the cables. But that's what you want to do. You have to take all this tracking out. I actually did have it out once. When I got this car, it was in pieces. So if you see the D and R drivers, you know, whatever bit, you have to take all these little screws out. There was no cables or nothing in this, so it is what it is. Okay. Oh wait, the gears hold the front piece in. Okay, you can pull that out. Watch your paint. There's that little nub on there. Plugs in like a socket. That one slides out. Now we got to go inside the car. Yep. Two screws that hold the gear assembly up inside. They're between the sun visors. Okay. You remove them two screws. I don't think I can angle the camera to go up there. Sorry about that. Hopefully it's in view. Don't lose these screws, whatever you do. Keep track of which one goes to what, because I believe they are special sizes for it. There's one. Here the rail working loose up there. There you go. Okay, then your rail just lifts off. That's it. You got everything off. Ooh, shuts like a safe. I like all that sound dead in there. We're gonna set these up on the floor and be right back. Okay, so Got my left cable, my right cable. I'm trying to go by directions for which cable goes into what groove. So, what you want to do, I put some oil in a cup and you want a little brush. Okay, let me check, make sure you're in view. That's about the best I can get the view. Uh, these are the fabric type cables, so you want to use oil. Now, I had already took steel wool and got inside of these channels. So you can use like triple O steel wool and get in there and just keep rubbing the crap out of it until you're almost polished in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some oil and get it down in there. You want to get it inside the rails. So the cables slide nice and smooth. Now we're going to oil the cables up too, but every little bit helps. Now you don't want it dripping everywhere. Don't be a cowboy about it, but you want to get it in there so it helps slide easier. Last thing you want is these expensive cables hanging up and breaking on you. I know some that broke on somebody else recently, and that's... That's not fun. It's actually sad. So 
so. Now, from what I read from Tim Donahue's instructions on the Samba from that screen cap I showed you, is here's the left cable. Now, I have no idea what I'm doing. Remember, I've not done this before. But we're going to learn as I go along. If I make a mistake, you'll see, because I don't edit that stuff out. Because it wouldn't be fair to you or I. So, okay. And, yeah, that goes up like that. Okay, so, the rear of the front channel is the left cable. So it goes right in there. But, I gotta see something here because, okay, the rear track goes right there for the front one. So let's put a little bit of oil on this cable. And this brush sucks. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see here. It should just slide in here, I suppose. Like that. Because that will hold up to the sunroof, although that seems like it's on a heck of an angle. Let me look at something a minute. I'm just making sure I get enough on there. nice and smooth and that will go on the rear part right there like that okay now this one will be the right side of the car pass side will go in the front track okay which don't make sense to me for a minute here yeah, I guess it does make sense okay Let's oil this up. making sure everything's right. Now, the bees are when it's screwed in place on the roof. That's how it'll go together. And then I'll drip a little oil in here, very little bit. Don't get crazy once you get it up in there. Okay, one thing I wanna pause and do is, let me bump this up a little. Better? All right. This gear that goes up and your cables grab it, this gear, some of the teeth, it won't show in here. Maybe it is. They're a little bit war. So I bought, I'm trying to get this in the camera right, I'm working backwards, right there. I bought a new gear for Wolfsburg West. As you can tell, I bought all new stuff. I did not play around. It ain't worth putting something together with crappy pieces. So let's change this gear. There's a little snap ring on. Uh oh, 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 there it is. That wouldn't have been fun. Okay. Get the new one. I don't think there's a certain. Let me see. I want to make sure. No, it don't matter. Okay. All right. Put that on. That's sliding down. Put the old one on and see something in a minute. Hmm. Oh, there's a wavy washer. Go figure. The Germans in their wavy washers. You gotta compress it slightly. I 
I see this is going to be fun to get on because you got to compress it down while you're doing it. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing, but I'll show you when I'm done and it'll all make sense. Okay. It's just a snap ring that goes on there. But you have to press down on the gear a little bit to get the groove up in. So, okay. Make sure, ow, that you stab yourself in the finger first. Okay. Once you stab yourself once, you'll be all right. Okay, should be on her. It's seated. I'm just making sure. I don't always trust snap rings. Okay, there's your new gear. Nice, huh? That should grab them cables fairly well. Hey, now you see them little nubs on there. They go back into a hole inside the roof. And you'll feel when it plugs into them. Then try to move back here, back and forth. It's locked in. Okay, the other side. Sometimes you have to fish for it. There we go. I felt it plug in. That little nub in the end will plug into a hole back in your roof. You can get a flashlight and look back in there, but I'm used to filling them. All right, so that's in there. Okay, All right. that's about the best I'm going to be able to get that. But no worries. When it's completed and in, I'll show you what I mean. But you're going to take this. Get it under the cables. There you go. Make sure you don't pop them out. Okay, make sure they stayed in. Okay, these go underneath. Just like that. Because those will end up coming around here. But I am going to put some oil in them tracks. See, this ain't going to be fun. Okay. But I'm going to put these on to hold these in place. So let me get the screws in the tracks. So, these here, I'm going to put these on. I'm going to get up here. Oh, forgot the screwdriver. Okay. So, the front tracking is the last screw up here on this. Remember, don't drop them down that drain tube. Put a little cloth over there so nothing can make it down there. Don't tighten them down completely yet. Get them in first. Just snug them in very lightly. Just hold it in place. Just like that for right now. Okay. Now, go to the other side. Okay. Line that up. magnetic screwdrivers I just bought some they are so much nicer my wife bought them for me while we were out she's always buying me stuff to help me in the garage she's a good gal one of a kind uh oh I don't like the way that one felt let me see something let me see if it's really I bought some at Lowe's they're number eight by half inch to have new ones in there. 
the guy took his timer with me because I took an old screw with me. And he measured and all kind of things for me. Great guy. I'm not turning hard, so don't think I am, and then do the same thing. All right, time to snug them up a bit. Don't get nuts. You'll strip them out. That one don't grab right. I'll mess with that before I'm done. There we go. Just snug. I mean, a little tighter than snug, but don't be Hercules on it. And this one will go in like that. Although I'm going to oil that up a little bit in the tracking. Okay. So, I want to put this rag on the roof. Ah. I'm going to shove it in here to hold it. Okay, I'm going to take... Come on, get out of there. I'm gonna oil that up a little bit. Just to make it slide easy. Just enough to make it slide smooth. Okay, now I'm going to put a little oil on the cable itself here. Should be oiled up pretty well. Oh, now I gotta take this gear and put it up through. It'll come in between the cables there. All right, so we gotta send the two screws up through, just like you've seen me remove it. So I'll get inside the car and do that. That to come apart. Okay, we have those in there. You had not, babe. I love you too. See, you, bud. Oh yeah, as always. Okay, get them in there. Track. they'll be down inside where the gear is. Let me show you a picture here. One second. Should be okay. You know what? I gotta check Tim's post. So I gotta see where these start. It's there way back there and it don't pull the sunroof back that far. Okay, let me check. Okay, one thing I forgot to do is bring the cables, the adjusters and the hold downs, whatever you call them, far enough forward. So I've got to pop this back up like that. They're supposed to be close to this ramp. From what I'm gathering by his post, right around there. And then we'll work with them as we do them. So this would, ow, damn it. So that's gonna go in that hole there. Like 
like that. A little bit of a pain. Still look a little not close enough to me from what I read on Tim's post. So we're going to move them right about there. down in that channel. Mine keeps popping out right now. Once you put your top cover on, it holds it in place, but I'm trying to get them somewhat close. Really? try it there. If we have to move them again, we will. Going to need, whoa, it's on my butt. You're going to need this piece here. And I'll show you a picture of it. This snaps down in and it holds the cables. So the gear pushes up, so the cables squeeze against the gear so it can grab them. If you want them down in there, take your time and move slow. You don't want them cables hanging up, so they will break. Okay, let's get our front cover and put that on. Hopefully, I don't think it can pop up. Hopefully that holds it down. Okay, so here's that rear rubber strip I put on, and it is on there. I use that weather strip adhesive by 3M. Let me turn it over, and it's on there. I believe any water that gets goes through this drip rail and down into the drain holes. So it's on there. So let's get this installed, I guess. Okay, so first we got to get these off. You can see from the old cable bracket that was on there. These here are adjusters for the back. I haven't messed with them yet. Who knows where they're adjusted at. And this is what goes on for to hold into the rear. So. These must go underneath it, apparently. They have to. Okay. We'll get it. No worries. All right. I'm going to put you on the roof of the car. One thing I did want to mention. I set the sunroof in place with the new seal on it, and a lot of these seals are way too thick now. So what I did, and this is up to you, because if the seal's too thick, 
and you're cranking that up and I can barely push it in by hand and then you're gonna break the cables because my hands stronger than them cables obviously so what I did I pulled the seal down okay I took it put it on my workbench flipped it upside down on a towel I pulled the seal down I came around the corner here this is the front of the car okay and I pulled the seal down and up inside of the seal where you won't see it I sliced the felt up inside where it clamps back onto the sunroof and I pulled the white rubber out of the front and the insides of it I had to it wasn't gonna close so I pulled it out of there clear around to here and now it fits up inside still a little tight but it probably needs to compress so just wanted to tell you that part This is about the best position I can get you guys in. What we're going to be doing is putting these back together. I hope these are flipped the right way. That one is. And that one is. Okay, so. Let me try here. Okay. Just like I showed you on the bench and put your screws in though forget your washers I don't know if this will need it need taken back apart again or not until we try it it's a matter of playing games and adjusting so okay, that one's in let's do the other side front brackets on let me grab those okay so here's your hold down brackets the ride and the runners at the front I took a small brush and I brushed some grease inside of there now I don't know I still may have to take this whole thing apart but I gotta test it somewhere along the line so giving it a try see what it does it's all part of the game that's what it is with these sunroofs. This is a crazy game. I was excited to have a sunroof until I started rebuilding it and working on it. And I realized I wasn't as excited as I thought it would be. That's an adjuster screw big one behind it so I don't know what's gonna happen here you gotta watch because you can end up breaking the cables if it's too tight so we will find out once I put it in what happens these cables seem to break fairly easy I caught on to and they're not cheap you can, with shipping and two cables, you can be in $100 that fast. So. Okay. Now you're going to finish up. You're almost there. The insert for the headliner you can put in in the beginning while your rails are still apart and slide it to the back. I chose to put mine in in the end. It's entirely up to you how you do it. And I'll show you what I mean towards the end of the film here. We're almost done. Now remember, you've taken, I'll show you what screws I mean in here.
there's two screws that hold the crank handle up in. Loosen, here's a cover over mine. Loosen those two screws up six full turns. Don't go no further. And the gear will pull down away from the cables, okay? At that point, crank it clockwise to the closed position until it stops. They have stops in them, believe it or not. They just don't keep turning. Turn, 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 boom, it'll stop eventually. When it does, leave it clockwise as closed position. Leave it alone, okay? Now, what you're going to do, these are in the back, back here, okay? You're going to take gently, don't act like a nut, push up on the sunroof, okay? This won't be on at that point. Push up on the sunroof until it's level with your roof. You're going to have these screws loose. This will jump up like that. Remember, you're up near the ramp now with these adjusters, okay? As soon as you push the sunroof up and it is level with the roof, tighten that screw up and then it'll stay in the upright position. That will adjust the back. Do it to both sides. The front, I'll show you a picture right here. Those two screws, loosen them up a little bit and the middle screw is the adjustment. If you turn it counterclockwise, it'll raise the roof up clock rise, it'll lower it. Loosen them two screws, I'll show you again right here. Loosen those two screws, adjust the center screw until the roof is level in the front with the roof. And it can be off one millimeter, I forget, I'll check before I post this video and show you what I mean. You'll go ahead and get the roof all leveled up on both sides. The adjusters front and back are self-explanatory. Okay, once you have done that, to check your roof, go up top, look, make sure it's done. Before you tighten these screws back up on this here, these two screws, you're going to go ahead and take the crank handle and go counterclockwise a half turn. One half turn, that's it. Now you're going to tighten these screws up the whole way, and the gear will push up into the cables. It is completely adjusted. Now, if it's not, which is doubtful if you followed this along, you can take it back apart and readjust again. But these adjusters that are on the back cables here will be about an inch from your ramps. So they say in the factory service manual to put it up against the ramps. That didn't work for me. I was an inch back from the ramps. Once you do that, I gotta order a new handle, so ignore mine here, okay? Now, it should work just like this. Nice and smooth. Now remember, you've already tightened your gear up in, because the gear will go back up into the cables. It should close nice and smooth. Okay, now let's go up top here. Okay, now you're, what you're gonna watch here is see how that's smooth. It's not sitting down inside or up above. That's why you adjust these adjusters to the level they need to be and then tighten that screw so it's level. When you're adjusting the front screws, you want it level. Now watch the back when I'm turning it. See how it drops down, it slides back in. Okay, now here's the deal. You know the headliner piece snaps up into the sunroof shell. I'll show you one that I have here. This is what goes, up. now the headliner would be covering this piece. That goes up into the sunroof shell and there's clips on the front that snaps up into it. These just ride in the back on the bottom and slides along. Now, what that does, you're going to take it, I already have mine in so I can't do it, it goes into these slots right here. Okay. And then it hooks up to the sunroof. It snaps up into it. What I did, because I didn't put it in in the beginning, is I put it inside that rail 
I bowed this slightly and snapped it in. And I slid it back inside of the roof. Okay. Then I worked the roof, the roof forward right to about there. And then I went ahead and snapped it up inside. You'll know when you're doing it, you'll see what I mean. And then that's it. When you watch this close, watch the back of it. This is what you call a good adjustment. Boop, right up. And that's it. Now, if your handle is not in a position where you want it to be, say your handle is over here or back there, don't turn them two screws back out again that hold the gear assembly. Just take your center screw out and turn the handle where you want it to be. I gotta order a new handle and a new cover that goes inside of here that pushes up in. I just forgot because I've been ordering too many parts. Once you get your new handle on, it'll have a knob and everything. But that's it. That is the video. I'm sorry I did the best I could do with it. It's not an easy one to film. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I can walk you right through this. Uh, Tim helped me and he did his prior to me, which was probably a couple years ago, I think, but he helped me out a lot on it and I appreciate that. I'm gonna put some uh, little uh, screen caps up of a couple things after I'm done in the very end here and it'll show you about the crank position and everything. Uh, if you have any problems, shoot me an email. My email's in the about section, and I'll help you the best I can. But it's not a hard job to do. Like I said, I had to pull the white rubber, as I showed you earlier in the video, out of the seals because they were too thick, and it broke my cables because this didn't want to go up inside. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. Sorry. I really appreciate everybody watching and being here, and I'll see you next time.